Right, so um, in Indochina, these tektites rained down as um, molten bodies. The shapes were therefore deformed. Uh, the teardrop shapes were flattened and bent. This is from Delat in Vietnam. You get all these distorted shapes. It's just bent as it entered through the atmosphere. And this, really distorted. Um, you get, um, this is another teardrop, this is from China. Again, very flattened, squashed. This is, this is the uh, posterior facing space, this is the anterior facing the ground, very squashed. You also get donut forms, this is a small donut form. This is a very large donut form, this is from Vietnam. So, so these donut forms are basically squashed as it is, it comes through the atmosphere, you get kind of a ring vortex effect and it's basically squashed and, and the, um, and the uh, molten material flows to form this donut shape. This donut shape was originally a spherical body. Um, as we go further afield to the Philippines, the, these ones were probably landing about five minutes or so after the impact. They traveled at very high velocity, so 1,500, 2,000 kilometers away from impact, five minutes later. These are entering solid. Glass it cools pretty quickly. Um, and these, these bodies, because they're solid, the glass behaves very differently. It's brittle now. So when you heat the glass up, by atmospheric friction as it re-enters. Um, the glass heats unevenly through the specimen and basically explodes off the specimen. We go into uh, formation and the different morphologies in much more detail later on. Um, you get uh, uh, Billiton. Excuse me. These are from Billiton. Very similar to Philippinites. A lot more grooving. Um, these are more deeply etched, but basically the same as Philippinites. Further afield in Australia, the uh, bodies are generally much smaller. Um, we get some very unique forms. Um, unique because they're travelling at very, very high velocity, probably the highest velocity of all the tektites, and at very low angle um, of re-entry. So we, we start to get um, Forms such as these, I don't know how well you can see them, um, they, these are uh, mini buttons, um, I have some uh, larger ones um, somewhere, so I've got loads of tektites out here. Okay, yes, we have some uh, larger, slightly imperfect forms there. Um, the the buttons were always under six, uh, about six grams in weight. Um, with such a small body, the heat is distributed much more evenly. So the glass is evenly heated throughout. It doesn't spoil. It doesn't break. On the on the larger australites, it does break. You get cores. They look slightly different to Philippinite cores, but they're, they're basically the same. Very similar process of formation. And he lost any flange there was, it's all, all this uh, anterior has spooled off uh, as it's re-entered the atmosphere. Um, Microtectites have even now been discovered to go as far as Antarctica. So, I mean, that, that's getting on, I think, for about 10,000 kilometres away. The Australasian, the, sorry, the Australian tectites, that's about five or 6,000 kilometres from impact. So you can see this was a very big event. Uh, as I say, affecting about 20% of the world.